Up till this point, we've basically covered the articulation of every part of the chicken body. Now all that's left is to piece together each of these parts. We start with articulating the leg onto the pelvis via the femur. The head of the femur is a bulbous structure that protrudes on one side at the top of the femur bone. The head fits into the acetabulum of the pelvic bone to form a ball and socket type joint. Glue the head of the femur into the acetabulum to complete the articulation of the leg with the pelvis. Next, glue the humerus of the wing bones in place on the glenoid cavity which is located at the junction of coracoid and scapula as shown in this image. Notice that the deltoid ridge, which is a prominently swollen area at the base of the humerus, faces the outside of the body. This is how the articulated wings would appear. Once that's done, we move on to the skull. Here's an image of the back of the skull. This hollow region is the foramen magnum, while this tiny bulbous structure is the occipital condyle and is the point of articulation of the skull with the atlas bone of the vertebral column. Insert the finished skull through the foramen magnum into the few centimeters of metal rod that we've previously reserved for this purpose. Affix the skull in position by gluing the occipital condyle of the skull onto the concavity for the occipital condyle that's located on the atlas bone. Voila! You have yourself a complete articulated chicken skeleton. You may house your skeleton in a glass case similar to this by supporting the skeleton at two or more places using a sturdy metal or plastic rod as seen in the image. I hope my video series on chicken articulation was helpful to you in your project. If so, please give a thumbs up and also please subscribe to my channel for more biology related videos like this. Thanks for watching guys.